Applications of Differentiation. In this video, we will continue with maxima and minima problems. You will find this on page 295 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. A vacuum flask for keeping drinks hot or cold is modeled as a closed cylinder in which the internal radius is r centimeter and the internal height is h centimeter. The internal volume of the flask is a thousand cubic centimeters. A flask is most efficient when the total internal surface area a cubic centimeters is a minimum. Show that this area and this is the formula. Okay, let's start. The volume, the volume is the constraint. Okay, so what is this? This is this is limited. Okay, so it's a thousand. What is the volume of a cylinder? The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So if I substitute it, there's a thousand, there's pi, there's r squared, there's h. Make h the subject of the formula, I get this. We want to minimize the total surface area. So the total surface area of a flask, remember, it's area of base times 2, and then it's the circumference, that, that is 2 pi r squared, and then, then it's the circumference 2 pi r times the height. Substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So substitute that height in, you get this. Then simplify the pi cancel out, that one of the r's cancel out, and 2 times 1000 is 2000. Okay, okay, now there's the formula. Now given that r can vary, find the volume of r correct to one decimal place for which a has a stationary value and verify that the flaws is most efficient when r takes this value. Okay, so first we must differentiate. It's finding that maximum or minimum point. So dA over dR, I get this. Differentiate the equation. Okay, so remember R goes up, then it becomes minus 2, then it goes down. So for the stationary point, dA by dR will be 0. Substitute. Simplify the formula and you get R is 5.4. Correct to one decimal place. Okay. Now, and now I must find, so for which I has a stationary value, and verify the flask is mode which takes this value. Okay, so now I'm going to find the nature of this point. So I have to say d squared a, dr squared, the second derivative, and then I get this. So when r is this, I substitute, I get it's a positive value, bigger than zero. So when r is 5.5, it will be a mini point, in, um, point inch most efficient okay so I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 33 you can continue the video as soon as you are finished okay let's start The volume of a solid circular cylinder of radius r centimeter is 250 pi cubic centimeters. Show that the total surface area is, um, so we're going to use s in this case, of the cylinder is given by this. Okay, now first start with the volume. Okay, let me, I, I like to first draw a picture. Okay, this is the cylinder. Okay, so if I'm going to say, I'm going to say that this volume <coughs> will be equal to 255 cubic centimeters. Okay, so show that the surface area, okay, now before I do this, first the volume of a cylinder. What is the volume of a cylinder? Volume of a cylinder, 
this area of base prime solid. Okay, so if I substitute, don't forget it's 255. Okay, so I'm going to make H the subject of the formula. I divide by pi r squared, divide pi r squared. So therefore, H is equal to, okay, so if I'm going to, the pi's will cancel, do you see? So it will be 250 over r squared. Okay, then, then I'm going to start. What is the, what is the total surface area of a cylinder? Don't forget, uh, in this case, so I'm going to say first, um, okay, let's call it S in this case. Usually it will be area, but uh, total surface area. So uh, it's area of the base, so which is times 2. So 2 pi r squared plus, and then it will be, circumference times the height that's for the curved surface area so it's 2 pi r times the height okay so if i'm going to fill this now in i'm going to substitute h in so if i substitute h in because i have h and in the place of r And that will give me, okay, this is, the, so one of the R's, so 2 times 250, so it will be 500, and one of the R's, so it's pi over R, one of the R's will cancel out. Okay, so is it exactly? Yes. Now we go on with B. Give it that R, R can vary, find the stationary value of S. Stationary point, always differentiate. So, um, I, I always like to just get the formula ready for differentiation by bringing the R up. So, B is over DR is equal to 2 times 2, so it's 4 pi r minus 500 pi, and if it's r to the power, it can bring down, so it's r squared. Okay, so there will be my differentiated formula. Okay, so at this time, we can move this first to this side, and then I can say, At stationary value of S, E is our DR will be equal to zero. Okay. So I'm going to put zero into this equation. Okay, take this term over because it's negative. Okay, I multiply, I will cross. Okay, and then I divide by 4 pi. Okay, to get r to the power 3 alone, so that cancel. And then if I'm going to say um, 500 divided by 4, so I'm going to end with 125. Okay, I move up. 
and then I take the cube root, so therefore r will be equal to r. Okay, so given that go find the stationary value of s, but I must find s, um, so therefore is equal to, I substitute in there at 5. And if I do that, um, keep it in terms of pi, but I just want to show, so it's 20, so it's going to be 50 pi plus 100 pi, which will give me 150 pi centimeter square. Okay, and then the final one, let's just move it up still a little bit. Determine the nature of this stationary point. We're going to double the, or differentiate again. Let's find the second derivative. So don't forget, it's this formula. Okay, um, just remember the R is up. So I'm going to say d squared is over dr squared. Remember, I differentiate to R, so it's just 4 pi. Okay, don't forget, this is going up, then it's r to the power negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 500, that will be positive 1,000. And then, okay, don't forget the pi. And then negative 3, so if it's coming down again, so it's going to be positive r to the power of 3. Okay, and then... I'm going to, so this is the, then, okay, I, I like to put it like this, when, when r equals 5, d squared is over d or, move up a little bit, d r squared equals 4 pi plus a thousand pi and then in the place of r I substitute that 5 to the power of 3 okay and that will give me 12 pi okay and because it's 125 uh, 25 and it's thousand divide 125 that will be 8 plus that 4 so it's 12 pi so it's bigger than 0 it's a positive number so therefore if it's positive it will be a minimum stationary And that's how you do it.